multiple crops. There is a tremendous feeling of oneness and sharing of food and drinks with one another during the occasion. It's a traditional harvest festival celebrated by the Garo community. It is the biggest of all the festivals of Garo's performed in connection with Jum cultivation. The dance has now begun with the entry of both the young men and women in pairs beautifully adorned in bright colorful attires, entering the Nokma courtyard, ready to show off their dance moves to the audience. This form of dance is called Nakba'a. The one who is leading the, leading the groups is called Grukkapa, who performs Grukka or warrior dance. In this dance, the victor dancer proclaims and exalts what he has achieved for the land, the clan, and for his mother and sisters. He proclaims his mental strength, physical powers, and extols himself as a warrior of the land. As he dances, he yells out a eulogy like the following. Hail Sangma, hail Mara. I am the sea, the core, undying like the Kamka from the Ajri. I am the leader who initiated things. I am the pillars and the support. Hail, I am Go. The dancers are now solemnly greeting everyone assembled in the courtyard for the occasion. is called Sa'araroa after the Sa'asatsuwa or incense ceremony inside the house of the Nokma. He leads all the dancers, musicians and the people to his courtyard and spend the time in merrymaking and dancing together. And together spend their time enjoying each other's company. In earlier days, this art of dancing was started by Ajema, or which is also known as Wag Tail Bird, whereupon others on seeing her dance copied her movements. In this way, dancing as an art began to spread everywhere. In this act of dancing, the lady dancers are sowing how the garo sow the seeds in the field.
Another interesting item of Wangala dance is Makrerika. Here the lady dancers are showing how the Garo people chases away the monkeys from the field in order to protect their crops from the monkeys. The dancers are now performing an act called Mi Akshopa or Mi Akka. When the rice is ready to harvest, the Garos gather the rice from the field in a woven basket called Kera. The young ladies dancing together with the rhythm of the drum with the rhythm of the drum beats are showing how it's done. that they have gathered from the field in the sun before pounding it. In pairs and enact the skill associated with the pounding of grains. which is fastened around a man's waist and allowed to hang down behind him like a tail about two feet long. The man in circle and demonstrates, demonstrates the act of picking up the pomelo from the ground and gather it in the basket. This act of dance is called Chame Makang Nian. Here the female dancers take turns from one bachelor to another trying to see their faces and trying to choose a man who is more handsome and suitable to be their partners. They are saying goodbyes to everyone by waving their hands. <laughs> 